Welcome to another video on bedside ultrasound. Today we're going to talk about the IVC or the inferior vena cava, its measurements and its use in the critical care setting. Quick recap on the anatomy, the IVC and the hepatic vein drain into the right atrium. We usually measure the IVC about two centimeters proximal to the cava atrial junction or uh, right before the offtake of the hepatic vein. You can use a function on the ultrasound called M mode and this places a cursor through that area what MO does is expands that out over time to show you the change in structures over that line. You can use this to measure the minimum and maximum diameter of your IVC and use this uh, to put into equations to calculate uh, the collapsibility or distensibility of the IVC. There are two different equations and depending which one you use, you can calculate a percentage uh, of collapse or distensibility and you can use this to measure uh, right atrial pressure. This is uh, useful when you're trying to figure out if you want to give a patient fluids uh, or you want to start other therapies uh, such as vasopressor medications. So uh, this is an example of an IVC that's very distended and does not collapse with respirations as opposed to this IVC that collapses a, a fair amount uh, with respirations. So on the left of the screen, you can see a normal uh, IVC that's uh, slightly less than two centimeters and collapses almost 50%, uh, as opposed to uh, this IVC that is also less than two centimeters, but almost completely collapses, in fact, liberates its lumen uh, with respirations. This IVC is an example of a very descended or plethoric IVC. In fact, you can also appreciate a dilated hepatic vein. This patient may not be someone you would want to resuscitate with IV fluids, potentially start this patient on vasopressor medications. This is an, exa an example of a slit-like IVC or a virtual IVC. And this is very hard to find uh, and completely collapses on inspiration. This is definitely a patient that I would think of resuscitating with IV fluids. Now there is a way of estimating right atrial pressure using uh, an IVC view. And how this works is if you have a small IVC that collapses more than 50%, you would think the right atrial pressure is zero to five. If you have a small IVC that collapses less than 50%, five to 10, large IVC that collapses more than 50%, 10 to 15, and a large IVC that does not collapse more than 50%, 15 to 20. Hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.